Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Image Module. So before we dive into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I have a special discount link to Divi below that you can get at least 10% off of your purchase. And if you want to use that, you can go through WPWithTom.com slash Divi. I also just wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos on each of the Divi modules covering the basics of each one. So if you want to subscribe and see more of those videos, I welcome you to do that. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this Divi image module. So this model is one of the fundamental building blocks of any website or page builder here. So this is just a demo or a layout pack that comes within Elegant Themes membership that they have here. And I'm just going to get started by clicking here and adding a new regular section. And then I'm going to go over how to add images. So I'm going to make this a two wide section. And then I'll just go into images here. So we can insert a module by default here. You can actually just type in image if you want, or it's an alphabetical order if you want to scroll down and find it. But here we can go and start adding our image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to click here and upload an image. So I already have images here in the background. And since our site's orange, I'm going to use some orange related images here. Here's the Firefox logo. And then I'm also going to do the same with the SoundCloud logo as well. But I'm going to go over the process of showing you how to just duplicate it real quick and speed up the overall design. So what I recommend doing here is to get the design down that you want on one and then duplicate it after. So let's go through some of the features here within the image. So you can actually lock this to the left sidebar or unlock it. I have it locked to the left sidebar here. And I'm going to go down to where it says link. So right here we have an option to open in a light box and you can always go and see what this means by clicking on this. Basically if you have this toggled on you can't link to it. So you see here it says image link, image target link and it can open in a new window or the same tab. But here you can actually go and use it as an image and this would be like a gallery. It's going to pop up and be the feature that comes up on the actual screen itself. So if you wanted to do that, you can, but I recommend probably using an image link here and linking it out to something. So if I build a website and I am recommending different products, I might want to have the recommending products go to a certain link here and then open it in the same window or a new tab, depending on the scenario. So basically I like to keep people on my website as long as possible and I might have it open it in a new tab. So let's say this is actually showing Firefox and you click on it, Firefox would then open in a brand new tab right here. So that's how that would work. Now, if we go down here, we can go over to design and there's a few features that I want to cover within the actual image design here. So right here we have alignment and it's already aligned to the left. You can align it to the center. You can see it shifts the image over here and now it's going to shift it to the right. So depending on how you want this to look, you can adjust this as needed and you can always revert back to the default settings here. So if we scroll down a little bit over here, we can go down to where it says border and here we can do things. So right here you can see the outer border of this. It is a square with this gray square around the Firefox logo for this image. If you wanted to make the corners around it, you could go and add 30 pixels as an example. You can see that now it's more rounded on the edges of this image. So to make them round it, you can do that. If you actually don't want to link all the values, you can uncheck one. And let's just go and I'll show you what it looks like. So if you have zero up here and you were to make that. So this one is now straight and basically like a rectangle or square right here. But these ones are all with the rounded corner. So you could go and make the two corners on the left round it and the two on the right like this. It almost looks flag shaped when you see it like this. So that's how you can change that as needed. I'm going to just link all the values and I'm going to make them all zero like this. So you can actually go down here to border styles and change the style of the border. So this website has this orange color all throughout it by default with this template, which is why I'm using the Firefox logo as well. Now let's say I wanted to go and click on this right here and I'll make a left border and then I'll make the border width adjusted. So you can see that that spacing is coming in there. So let's just say you put it at something like 10. Then you can go down here and choose the color. So if I just wanted this regular orange, I could do that. I can go and adjust that as needed as well. And 
use different hex code colors, but I'm going to just leave it with this orange right here. You can also go click right here and get a whole different variety right out of the box as well. So maybe you want that orange or something like that. So here you can choose the style. So right now it is solid. I like this one over here, this groove one. It gives you kind of two different colors in one. Stands out a little bit, looks kind of cool. And you can play around with that. You don't have to have a border at all. You can have a border that goes around all of the edges here if you want. It's really up to you. So if you were to do that, you can see, let's take this one off and go on to this one. And we'll go and make this one 10. And we'll go and do the same color right here. So if we went down here and we chose this color as well and we made it a groove, it's going to go around the whole thing like that. So you can adjust it and play with it as needed to fit your website and the design that you have here. Another thing we can do is I'm actually going to go and remove this entirely right here for this full one. And I'll just leave this one itself right here on the left side. And I'll go down to where it says box shadow. So box shadow gives you different options to have a shadow around your image. So let's just click on this one. You can see the shadow come up around the image. And then if you want to change the blur strength right here, it's 18 by default. If you were to make it more like this, you can see it gets darker around it. I'm going to go with something like five or so. You can see it still, but it's not too much and too strong of a blur. Down here, you can change the blur color as well. So you can see by default, we're in this lighter gray color here that's kind of transparent but if you wanted to you could put orange or something like that all around it it's really up to you what you want to do here and i'm going to go down here and i'll just change this to be maybe like a light gray or something like that so i think it looks pretty good with that box shadow another nice little feature that you can have for your image there now another thing that you can do is go down to where it says animation and you can make it fade in so when people hover over your image or your site loads, it will fade in like that. So let's go with slide and it slides right in. You could choose the animation direction. So if you want the slide from the right and it will come into the right actually when you do that, or you can go slide to the left, up, down, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it at center. And that is just another example of the animation. There's other options here if you wanna try those out as well. So from here, what you'd wanna do when you're happy with it is just click save. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to go right on here and click duplicate. And then I'm going to click, hold and drag it and drop it right in here. So now I have this and the only things I would want to change here is this is aligned to the left. You can see that it could go all the way over here if you right, align it to the right, or it could be more centered in this area. If you line it to the center, you can see that with that gray box around it. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go right into here, module settings, and I'll change out the image. So I'll make this one SoundCloud right here. And then what I'll do is I'll also go and change the alignment. So if I go over here, design alignment, and I'll do it to the right. So if I wanted to, I could center both of these, but this is just for this example to show you how easy it is to just duplicate it once you have it set up and looking how you want with this left sidebar here. If you want it rounded corners, if you want this box shadow, if you want it to link to a certain thing, you could just duplicate the style itself and then change out the link and image real quick. So that's a way that you can save some time and create an image within Divi really easily. So that about wraps up what I wanted to cover in terms of the basics of the Divi image module here. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Divi related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.